All righty. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for being here on a very historic day for the Hershey Bears. We're pleasured. Uh, we're very uh, excited, and it's a great pleasure to have you here at the Giant Center today for this event here on our Bud Light Champions Club. I appreciate the media being here. Our media support that we have in this area is just sensational. Uh, they've come out in droves here today, and as well as we want to welcome all of our fans watching on Facebook Live. Appreciate Great Safe Productions making that possible here today. So all of our fans here in Central Pennsylvania, right here in Chocolate Town, and across the globe can take part in this wonderful event here today. Before we get started and introduce our 26th coach in franchise history, there's a few people that I want to point out that are here with us today. A couple of Hall of Famers that are in the building. Mr. J. Bruce McKinney is here as well. And of course, recent Hall of Fame inductee, Randy Waybright. Good number of our executive committee is here as well. Our president and CEO, John Lawn, uh, is here and a pleasure to have him with us. And thanks for all the support that we get from Hershey Entertainment Resorts for everything that we do here at the Giant Center and with the Hershey Bears. On top of that, uh, we have Mike Schmelz of the Hershey Bears Booster Club here that do so much for us behind the scenes as well as off-ice officials members of the communications team and of course key partners for us in this organization and everything that it does and it's historic 81 years that it's been involved here right here in chocolate town it's an exciting day for many reasons we're looking forward to a renaissance to getting things going in the direction that we all know a championship caliber hockey team last year is a step back this year we're excited for a big time step forward and it's definitely something where in our 81st season we know that there's a lot of history, tradition. We don't need to f tell our fans that twice because it is apparent by the banners when well, they hang high above. We get to see them each and every day. 11 championships, looking forward to chasing that 12th. Brian Helmer will touch on in just a few moments uh, a little bit more about this process. He's here with us, our Vice President of Hockey Operations, just to my left, stage right, as well as Spencer Carberry, our new head coach. He'll touch on this process a little bit exactly how it kind of transpired and why Spencer is the great fit for our organization. And I can tell you, having worked with Spencer already, might be a little bit biased, but spent a year with him in South Carolina, where he's the head coach of our ECHL affiliate for five seasons. Uh, we're not only getting a wonderful coach, uh, someone that is first class in everything that he does, but also a person that is going to come in with his family and embrace this community. And I know this about Spencer. He loves to win more than anything in the world. And right here in Hershey, our fan base can tell you we love to win too so we're very excited for everything going forward and naming him our 26th coach in franchise history we've had some great coaches some great players and we believe this is another chapter in our storied history here a little bit more coming up one-on-one -on -one interviews at the end for media so please stick around for those but i do want to welcome up at this time our vice president of hockey operations two-time cup champion here former captain brian helmer Thank you, Zach. Uh, no pressure, Spence. <laughs> uh, first of all, I'd like to thank everyone here. Uh, obviously, I'd like to thank the, uh, the people uh, watching on Facebook Live. Uh, we have the best fans in the American Hockey League. I want to thank the uh, members of the Bears, thank the uh, people that came out from Hershey Entertainment Resorts. Uh, it's uh, a special day in, uh, in the Hershey Bears uh, organization. Um, I also would like to thank the, uh, the Capitals, uh, Chris Patrick, Jason Fitzsimmons, and uh, Brian McClellan uh, their, for their commitment uh, to this process in hiring Spencer. Um, we have a, a long tradition of, of success here. Uh, I won, uh, obviously I've won here before, and I want to raise another banner. And today's news is exciting for us as we chase down the 12th championship. I want to thank Don Sweeney, uh, John Ferguson Jr. of the Boston Bruins, who Spencer was under contract with, for allowing us to speak with him and hiring for this position. Hiring our 26th coach in franchise history was a critical decision. This historic franchise that is the class of the AHL, we have a beautiful facility, fans that pack the building, and 11 banners have hung above showcasing our success. Choosing someone to be the next leader is not an easy task. And trust me, it wasn't easy. Um, especially for me, it was exciting for me going through this for my first time. So we believe we found the perfect fit to join us here in Chocolate Town. We interviewed many candidates uh, as, we wanted to, uh, as we went to get this right. Spencer, experience in this organization, his passion, his, his character, work ethic, 
His drive to win stood out among the candidates. At this time, I please, uh, please turn your attention to the video board for more on our new coach. Thanks, Great Save, for that great video. As you can see, Spencer has quite the resume. We are excited to have Spencer, his wife Casey, and their children Hudson and Vivian in the sweetest place on earth. Without further ado, please help me welcome to the podium for the first time in Hershey, our new head coach, Spencer Carberry. Well, thank uh First of all, thank you guys for the kind words, and uh, thank you everybody for being here uh, today. I can tell you this, it's uh, truly a privilege and an honor to be standing here today, being named the new head coach of this storied organization, the Hershey Bears. I wanna first thank a few people, uh, first being Brian Helmer, uh, Brian McClellan of the Washington Capitals, Chris Patrick, Jason Fitzsimmons, and the rest of the Bears and Caps organization for entrusting in me to lead a new chapter of Bears hockey and prepare the next wave of Washington Capital prospects. I, uh, I would also like to thank my family who couldn't be here today, but will be in Hershey soon. My wife, Casey, my two little ones, Hudson and Vivian. Um, over the past several years, we've had the pleasure of being a part of several uh, different organizations all over North America. And, Without their patience and understanding of the rigors of the coaching profession, I wouldn't be able to put as much time into this job as I do, and I certainly wouldn't be standing here without uh, their unwavering support of they, them letting me uh, be able to chase my dream and one day coach in the NHL. So I want to thank them. Also, uh, I want to thank the, uh, the Boston Bruins organization, specifically Don Sweeney, and John Ferguson, um, not only did they let me pursue this opportunity with zero reservations, but they were very patient through this process. So I owe a lot to them for letting them, or for them letting me pursue this great opportunity in Hershey. And uh, finally, as I said before, I'm, I'm extremely grateful and excited to be a part of this storied franchise that most people in the hockey world uh, know plenty about. And, and I started to really get to know this organization personally about 10 years ago. I played uh, for, for our affiliate, and I started to hear about Calder Cups. Uh, players would talk about the rich tradition. They would talk about the fan base. And then once I transitioned into coaching, I got to come and spend some time here and be a part of training camp. Um, and see how things were done. I got to meet uh, players, coaches. I got to learn about the community. I got to see the city. And then finally, last year, uh, coming into this building and playing against the Bears as an opponent. And um, when you came here and when you come to play against the Bears, you, you can feel it in this building. You can feel the passion. You can feel the pride. You can feel the energy. Um, and it's very, very evident that this is a hockey town that cares deeply about their team and about winning. And uh, I can assure you that you'll get that same type of passion, that same type of energy, that same type of hunger for success out of your head coach here. And I, uh, I look forward to doing everything I possibly can to continue the winning tradition that's been established here as your head coach. I can't wait to get to work and get started next year. Thank you very much.
Thank you very much to Spencer for being here today. It's certainly an exciting time for our organization. Uh, he'll be headed to development camp in Washington. There's a number of players there that could be here in Hershey next year, and we're excited for some new faces and some talented returning faces in our lineup for the upcoming 81st season of Hershey Bears hockey. Uh, at this point, our press conference will conclude in just a moment with a ceremonial picture opportunity, a photo opportunity here for the members of our media. We are in Chocolate Town after all, so what's better than presenting Spencer with one of our five pound chocolate bars for a photo opportunity here today as a welcome to the sweetest place on earth. We will have one on one interviews for media available. We'll kind of move our location right over here off to the side for both Brian Helmer and Spencer Carberry as well. Uh, exciting day for our franchise. We appreciate everyone being here as well and for all that have watched on Facebook Live. Be excited. I mean, Hershey Bears hockey is like nothing else. Being here for my third season, getting to see Spencer here for his first season this upcoming year. We're all excited to not only bring that passion in the rink night in and night out with the best fans in the American Hockey League, the best community, and an area where you can raise a family, but also have a team that really resonates with everything you do. We're excited also to win, and we're looking forward to a season where we strive towards that each and every day. Thank you for being here today, and now we'll have our photo opportunity uh, with Spencer, as well as with Brian Helm and I believe John Lawn, if he's still here as well, if he'd come up and join us as well for this photo opportunity to represent Hershey Entertainment Resorts. Thank you once again. Let's give a big round of applause welcoming Spencer Carberry, our 26th head coach.